today. It's the National Football League. This is the National Football League. We'll see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League takes us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in the Queen City of Cincinnati. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New England Patriots. And we are underway from Cincinnati. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Bengals offense here ready to rock and roll. Joe Burrow is the man at quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game. We just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want. But this guy, he is hard to corral. Burrow's throw here on target to Hurst. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Again, it's Mixon. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, Burrow. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Fourth down, out comes the punter, Drew Chrisman. And deep to return it is Marcus Jones. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. And he's taken down, but now he gets this across the 25-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. And that's a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. 
A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Throwing Jones. And they're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. And he slings one that's incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit out and back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones. Over the middle, it's Stevenson. And a six-yard game gets a right around the 43. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that. yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit.
true. If you don't think there's some more else, we should be going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double digit plays, then also found the end zone. Now they want to be even more impressive if they answer that. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Jones. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before. 23 yards the final tally. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They go play action here on first down. And this is taken in at the five. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 31-yard gain. That's just flat out a beautiful throw right there. It was a rope. That's maybe the speed you would see on a slant, but he threw that downfield with that kind of pace. Now, if he throws that one with any type of arc, puts a little air under it, that play doesn't happen. He had to fire it in there, and he did exactly that. Jones now off the play fake. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 14-7. to That time, 75-yard drive, five plays, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Since the offense about ready to go here on their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. As a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit words too because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now it's Burrow. Throw left side complete to Chase. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. Uh -huh. He is going nowhere as he is in line. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Drew Chrisman on to punt as he gets this one away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. That run defense getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Seven yards there at a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it 
into someone with vision and good footwork and handling a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones completes it to Aguilar. And he is going to lose yard here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll be tackled right Two touchdowns for him already in this first half. This one good for a first down. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, he threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. 48 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out of and right up the middle. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he's going to get it down to the 33 here. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw. You can come back with a strong game if you want to, and if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. Now Jones on first down. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Oh, that was sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not work? Now that Patriots sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. Is this a touchdown? That's the question, CD. What are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up. So not successful there on the challenge. And he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. This is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he is a touchdown, New England. Travis Kelsey, it's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots go up by two touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down. Full connects on the extra point. It's now 7. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive. 
Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort. The last time we saw them out there it was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Burrow setting up to throw. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Marching in for the sack. Matthew Judah. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they thought they could take a few more chances and be even more aggressive. It's been paying off for them so far this game. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Play action. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst with it. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take that you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From midfield now, Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact got the ball free and it's fourth down. On fourth down, Drew Christman on punt. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. From the 27, Jones. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he did some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Complete. It's Henry. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. 81 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And that is incomplete. This secondary has been roasted in this first half. And they get a measure of revenge there. Nice 
play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Back to throw. Jones. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35 yard line. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. Folk's kick is good, and that will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up, gave them exactly what they needed. The Bengals drive about to get going. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Now Burrow on first down. Forced out to his left. This pass complete to Higgins. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And they're going to speed things up here. They go play action with Burrow. He will find his man Chase complete. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jamar Chase with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off play action, Jones. There's Henry to make a nice catch. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way, and able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done, and for a nice chunk of yardage, too. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Off the play fake, Jones. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers, and they've got to find them quick. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Yeah. 
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The folks' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with an advantage. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone in for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Fields it right around the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the yard line. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. On the handoff, Stevenson. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And a midfield he goes and into Bengal territory 110 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon third and inches and they've got some extra beef up front three tight ends Jones keeps it himself and he gets it down to the 48 enough for the first I don't know about you but I like this call third and inches and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front just go ahead and take it move forward and pick up the first down and as we say often shows confidence in your offensive line yeah he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard well you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down on the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. So a potential big play by this defense wiped out by the face mask. And disappointing because it was so unnecessary. They had the sack. But the officials are definitely keeping a close eye on the quarterback, especially the referee. They were able to spot that one immediately. Meanwhile, Jones throw here taken in by Parker. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Liked it. Just take the snap, burrow forward, pick up the few inches you need for a first down. And defensively, I don't think they were expecting that. They looked a little surprised in the middle. Yeah, a little bit wary there, weren't they? Because that can be a throwaway down where maybe you go play action, fake it, and try and get something big. But instead, he said, forget it. Let's just get a first down and start a new set. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. We can hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked it up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. On third down here, Stevenson. He's going to be very close to it. Looks like he's a yard short. 
It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he's brought down. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage. And Dom... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. They just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point up and good. Put the lead up to an even 20. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchdown. Since the offense about ready to go here on their next drive. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Burrow looking to pass. That's caught by the tight end, Drew Sample. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Throwing again on second down. Burrow, that's into a crowd and intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And, look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they got to be careful about developing a tendency and thinking this game is over. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allow that turnover to hurt. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. They'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. On third and short to give to the tight end. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Well, that last run for a first down, it really should be the last straw for the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box, they need to add more people. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. still throwing with this kind of a lead you start playing a little more physically and they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion and he's able to work free for about six of the 18. i really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain so he found where there was the most space 
got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. And he's brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. Now that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. Going with their tight end on four. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ballgame. Now three for three. And you've got to figure their luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to them right now. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice game downfield. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They hand off to the big tight end. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. His guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old record. But yeah, it's been the better of the two teams by far. And that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right up. Pretty sizable lead. Full connects on the extra point, and that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. A 10 play drive that time, and it's culminated by a two yard touchdown. Full now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much over. to be a lot of people start to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the track and get over to their final destination. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty cool. there and it's second down so second and ten third quarter thanks for tagging along with us here from the Queen City of Cincinnati and they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line a lot of ground left to make up obviously a lopsided contest and we're already in the third quarter and they won't get it all back in one play or one drive that's cliche but it's true Charles if they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built they can get the scoreboard a little closer and can you add some blinders to the cliche meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now their focus needs to be on getting every drive with points and playing mistake free football from here on out man he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. play number Seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Now Burrow. Passing here, Joe Burrow. Quick slam caught by Chase. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Mixon with first down carry. They give him four yards. 
yards there. It'll be second and six. Now that ground game just continues to struggle to really get any momentum in this ball game, Charles. And I mean, you're at the point here, third quarter, down four scores, probably going to have to put it in the air. Oh, no question about it. So that's your only chance, your only opportunity. But think of the pressure you just put on your offensive line. Because if you're a pass rusher, you know, they thinking about them running football. All you're doing is getting into that sprinter stance. to mix it and he takes it into the end zone touchdown Bengals Joe Mixon taking it in from a yard out and the Bengals are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter extra point by McPherson up and good and the lead to 20 a pretty long drive that time 11 plays all told and it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. And Marcus Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Pats at the line ready to go. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Complete. Hunter Henry with the grab. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. And they're not going to get to the line to run the so we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Zappi now on first and 10. On the right side open is Kosicki. They'll give him four yards there. Second down. Well, they were unable to make anything it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. On right, second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll be tackled at the 45, following a gain of just two. Brandon, I've got to think the offensive line got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now Jones. Finding Evans here, going across the middle of the field. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Bengals 33. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? A bit of an opening there on the first down. How does they get this forward for about six yards? Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Now Zampi will go to the air. Uh, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson. And now off to the races, down the right side. The 20. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for the Bengals TD. This 
game still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go to your shell, just run the football. I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you got to run into a defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And the pick six we just saw makes things a little more interesting. Still, though, a two-possession game as they control their destiny in this fourth quarter. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 40. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now a handoff. Stevenson. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. 172 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll be taken down. 44-yard line. Throwing Jones. And the incomplete physical play on the football there, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They run with Stevenson. And he is going to be close to a first down. The tackle made at the Bengals 36. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Give them three yards and a fresh set of downs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a run with Stevenson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal? Work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he will have a first down. Third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stick touchdown. Devontae Parker, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches, and the two-point attempt is turned aside. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll elect not to return. This one's on the 25 on the touchback. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. 
Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw here into the hands of Boyd. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Back to throw again. And he's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he's going to have Bengals first down. And he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Again, it's Burrow. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. There he goes, right side. 20, 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone. The defense has a touchdown. Well, partner, this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because, remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them. Another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match their opposition's pick six from earlier in this game? Turn man down to a knee and come out to the 25 yard line. There's a look at receiver Jamar Chase as the Bengals get set to go on offense. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. It opens it up for other people that big games as well. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Finding Mixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. So the completion for just three. And it'll be second down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he drops it incomplete. Struggles continue here. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. On third down, Burrow. They're dropping it off underneath. Here's P. Ryan. And they're going to get this up to midfield. I'm not sure that, that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. From midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And Burrow going to throw again. He's got Chase on the comeback route. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Burrow. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Matt Judon able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. So after the sack here, second and 14. Now it's Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked up by Jalen. pretty but the interception there that means that they should get out of here with a victory yeah this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense but they did finish it off didn't they they did make the winning play to close things out they'll take that one and head to the locker room and they will take a knee here So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Now Zappi. He completes it to Henry. And he will have its first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 16 yards. And the Patriot first down. Looks like he'll throw here. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Off play action, Jones. It's incomplete. Took a shot, could connect. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Zappi looks to throw it. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into this offense? They certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Cincinnati.
today from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. We'll see Nick Foles and the Indianapolis Colts taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. First open back in 2008, there's a look at Lucas Oil Stadium here in downtown Indy. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the New England Patriots and the Indianapolis Colts. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL. EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, as we look at a matchup like this, it's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 20. Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a guy who beat these Patriots in Super Bowl 52, and we remember that like it was just yesterday. It's Nick Foles. Now a play fake here on first down. It's his target to tight end Mo Alley Cox. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of three and it gets him the first. Here's Foles. This one completes Alec Pierce. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now Foles. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Get in there and drop him for a loss. Well, when you time those screen passes perfectly, they can work perfectly, but that time it took a little too long to develop. And you zeroed in on exactly what makes that play go. Timing. Because if the timing's off at all, those unblocked defenders coming at the quarterback, they'll put him on the deck. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Up the middle, here's Taylor. He's able to get six, a nice pickup down to the 21. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Now the first carry for Zach Moss. And 
tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On third down, here's Taylor. And they needed two. They could only get one. Down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And it's scoreboard first. It's 3-0. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they'll get three first downs and three points. Jones and the Pats now with first and 10 at their own 26. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second and two, Jones. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that is going to be pulled one-handed. Wow. A big play there for New England. 46 yards. I don't think we'll ever get enough of watching one-handed catches. And when they pay off, they are spectacular. But how about the times they don't pay off? And coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational type plays. Especially that one with a defender right there. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards. No more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They run once more with Stevenson. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to be a third down and six. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Jones on third down. To the right side, it's Kelsey. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They go play action here on first down. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Rodney McLeod. And the Colts are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. Anthony Jennings in that time defensively. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Now a give to Taylor. And a short gain here as he gets it up. Only to about the six. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Foles. 
and he'll be hit as he releases it, and that will fall incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tuck rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. Because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover that Plague did on the last one. Here's Jones. Off play action. And incomplete on the deep ball. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe you want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Looking to throw. Jones. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least it'd be fourth down. The folks kick is good, and that will tie us at three. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their, backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah. And now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. He's got the tight end, Mo Ali Cox. Two yards on the pickup there, and that's going to bring up second down. On the handoff, this is Taylor. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Again, it's Taylor. And brought down, but not before reaching the five yard line. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. to throw here. Campbell making the catch. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Second and four. They'll set up to throw. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 37. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the field. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll look to throw. Now that's into the hands of Mo Alley-Cox, the tight end. 
And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking of myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. And down he goes. They sack him back right on the 41-yard line. Lawrence Guy, now two sacks for him already here in this first quarter of play. 3-3, a tight one after one on EA Sports. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt, and this is off target to the left. Can get there anyway. It's no good, and this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit, and once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's get it all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose the yard there, and it's 7-11. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. On second and 11 now. Jones to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play. Complete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. And the Colts will take over here at their own 12-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. From the 17, Foles. Throw left side complete. That's Taylor. And he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 and the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First and 10, Taylor now. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. And they'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. The Colts on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and five. He finds it's complete. It's going to have a close first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. From the gun, it's Taylor. Dodges him at the 50. And he'll take this from the 47-yard line to the other. A gain of 
have six. The last run got six. Now second and four. They go to the ground again. Taylor. And carrying out his productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. He'll drop to throw. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. So the Patriots coming out now. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they throw four or five picks, and while they'll hurt their team, they won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Throwing on second and eight, Jones. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Patriots. Gesicki, 74 yards. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Well, they had gone run the previous play. Nice little setup. This time they go play action. Defense bites a bit, and they hit for a big play in the end zone. So they sold it really well, didn't they? Because of just what you described, they ran it the previous play, come back with the same action, and now they step back and throw it and get a big play for a touchdown. But what happens as a defensive back is your eyes have to go to the right place. You always hear Coach talk about, are your eyes in the right spot? Well, this time the eyes went to the play action. It froze their feet. They weren't moving, and he went on past them and caught the pass for a touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as they get at the 25. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Just a lone field goal for him so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. He'll be dropped after a game of about six across the, th the 31. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. He'll look to throw. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And they get him down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. On the handoff, Taylor. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. 60 yards rushing for him now to this point. They run once more with Taylor. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Taylor. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Matt Judon. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. He's
going to be on the deck constantly, they get no chance to win this game. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Throwing over, and it's Taylor on the out route that completes it. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Now it is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And yeah, there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that. It seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And they'll get him down up past. 15. So that time they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330 pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride it out. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the line to the six yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Up the middle. Here's Stevenson. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Two yards the game there. And now they're left with a third and now four for the first. Our score, 10 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Jones now off the play fake. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll go out of bounds after getting this across the 15. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he'll power his way up near the 25. 51 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll get it a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards, the pick up, first down. Now Jones, a final shot before break. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report.
This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Well, the Patriots take it over to start quarter number three. And, Charles, they got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talk? points were in the locker room well if there were three talking points at the half partner all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball otherwise this lead could be even bigger i don't think that they overly harped on it but i think they told them guys if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting you've got to take care of the ball otherwise we may have to dial things back a little bit now a pass here caught by hunter henry and they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him, and it'll wind up first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on. It's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. 67 yards on the ground for him so far. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Seven yards there for the Patriots. Themselves a first down. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they establish that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef, that they can let a tackler through. But that's exactly what's coming and down he goes. It's here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going deep here for Parker. And this is caught. And it'll be touched out here, but not before pick up the first a big play there for New England 47 yards I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter and I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL teams not playing to protect leads teams playing to extend them After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Off the play fake, Jones. Caught! It's the tight end, Kelsey. For a Patriots touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead is now 17-3. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll just take a seat in the drive and get it to the 25-yard line. 
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge in opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that spread to overcome a little bit more daunting now I think you're exactly right pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out in a double coverage and it's intercepted picked up by Jalen Mills and the Patriots are going to take possession of the football well, certainly not his best throw that time and not a good time to make it Charles when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field and that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. At issue here, does the football make contact with the ground before he secured it? And I think some of these angles are going to give us a pretty good look. Secured is the important part because the ball can touch the ground, but it can't be loose when it does. So that's what the try and figure out. This is Stevenson. And give him six here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most take that every single time for the first play of the drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Stevenson gets it again. Second down. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 96 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson and a first down. Well, that was that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Stevenson now on first and ten. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And the last year put right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Stevenson. And forget that 100-yard rushing for a moment as he'll lose yardage here and fall back under the century mark for the game. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Back to throw, Jones. Over the middle, he's got Kosicki, the big 6'5 tight end. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. The folks' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now back to throw. Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. On second and ten. Foles. Quick slant caught by Pierce. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Christian Barmore credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Uh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now, and if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face the challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Got a man complete. It's Taylor. And they move this all the way down the nine. 23 yards on the play. Thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Moss. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Running straight ahead. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Well, I don't have to stretch for this one. This is four down territory. They've got to get it in with the deficit that they're facing. Absolutely. It's not the fourth quarter, but still, you, I think you, you can't be thinking three here. No, if you do that, you might as well go ahead and fold up on this one. But I don't think they're built like that. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of three to bring up fourth. And now down three scores. I don't think any decision at all. You've got to go for it because you don't know how many more times you're going to get an opportunity. Field goals, they're not going to cut it in this situation. And his kick is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. Response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send a message that says, hey, we're not going away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Now it's Stevenson. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should carry it one more time so make sure you get in shape oh i thought he had that one and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life instead they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball they'll try and throw for it here and it's incomplete they did not convert and they turn it over and a real head scratch 
catcher there. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. To the right side, this is Taylor. He'll get a nice there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Again, it's Taylor. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leads hard to go on third down. Now that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And Taylor, I don't think he got there. No, he did not. Unable to break free, and he's marked short. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And his kick is in. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball to the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's Stevenson, and for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Throwing Jones. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Rodney McLeod. And the Colts are right back in this football game. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. This one finds Pierce on the out route. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Back to throw now on first down. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And he'll be taken down the before they work this to the 45. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. They've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The Patriot defense has a touchdown. But just to add that to the list of great moments for this defense today, they've really shredded that game plan on the other side all four quarters. And, Charles, that pick six, that's, that's kind of the cherry on top. Yeah, they did it, and I feel like I'm quoting a bad movie line, but they did it together, didn't they? Fed off of each other, every big play they made, every tackle, every pick, everything they've done. They continually built energy in this one, and how about them culminating with a pick six? Full connects on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20, about the 22. 
The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. That's great to Pierce. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. They'll drop to throw. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll look to throw here. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he's brought down, but not for a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. Second and two. Back to throw again. And he'll just get rid of it. And that's another play that's been in the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And he'll find Pittman. And he is going to have a coach first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Mo Alley Cox. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. From the 35 on second down, Foles. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They'll look to throw again. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Adrian Phillips. And the Pats are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. So here we are the in December. Giving. Right, it is the season of giving. Maybe for interception that he threw up. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now Jones. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Sacked by Yannick Ngakwe, the former Maryland Terp. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the D. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That was no third and two. That was third and 16. But they get the conversion anyway. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run with Stevenson. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball on the sidelines and let's close this one out and he will reach the eight yard line before going out 39 yards there a big one boy another big play late here for an offense charles that certainly has had its fair share of big plays coverage has been a problem all game long and i would say that going along with that has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage they've still dented them and now it's been a real issue for them during this game The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Oh, how about 
got this on first and goal. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's over the line, and he's on for a Patriot score. Jacoby Myers, a five-yard touchdown run. And his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well, we've talked about it before. You know, this jet sweep, something a lot of teams like to run nowadays, and this one winds up in the end zone. And it is all about creating different ways to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. And wasn't it interesting that prior to this game, head coach told us, I saw this sitting at my chair watching a Tuesday night college game and decided to implement it myself. Extra point up and good by Folk. And they open the lead up now to 25. So that winds up a seven-play drive, all told. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds getting in there and dropping him. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. 
It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Foles. Right side caught by Jackson. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. From back at the four, here's second and goal. They're going to look to throw. This is caught. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And the Patriots are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field. But sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given. And it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Henry's got it out on the left side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And now they're in the hurry up. Jones throwing on first down. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will get into the end zone. It's a is ugly. So it goes from a three score to a four score lead here in the closing moments of the fourth quarter. And whether they got that bonus touchdown or not, it's been a pretty impressive performance. And they did it with not much time left, but they took what little time was on the clock and used it well, didn't they? Put a real exclamation point on their win with that score. On for the extra point is Folk. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Pretty clean and simple there, just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And no effort to bring this one out, it's a touchback. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Back to throw here. And here come the whistle with seven seconds left. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. They'll look to throw. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understand so not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long, everybody. Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, this is the NFL on EA Sports. Taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375. That's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New England Patriots and the Detroit. Tonight, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL. see Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the New England Patriots and the Detroit Lions.
Here's Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway from Ford Field. And this will go as a touchback. And we'll begin things at the 25. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft from Cal. It's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency. And that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about First and ten, it's Swift. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A shotgun snap for gone. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make the play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On second down, Swift. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third. Gone. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Christian Barmore in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. So here come the Patriots now on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Now that's staying ahead of the chain on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They'll run it. This is from Andre Stevenson. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got the 45-yard line. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. He's got a man complete. And it's going to be another first. As they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 20-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. 
Nice connection there for a really nice game. It'll be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Looking to throw. Jones. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Back to throw. Jones. And caught by Henry. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. A nice game there to his trusty tight end. And now it's got them thinking opening drive touchdown here as they get into the red zone. And in most cases, with tight end, you feel like you've got a mismatch no matter who's covering it. Is it a small cornerback? Is it a linebacker who may not run as well? In any event, whatever you see, you think that tight end can win that battle. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. So first and goal from the 9 yard line. Looking to throw. Jones. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Henry. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Ramon Stevenson. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Pats put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. So that a great sequence for these guys to begin the ball game. They force the punt on one end, then come right down the field and score on the other. And that's a great example of leaning on each other and building a little momentum that way. How about the defense forcing the punt? Turns it over to the offense with confidence, and they take it downfield and score. connects on the extra point and that makes the score 7 nothing. so that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive and it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run Folk now set to boot it after his guys put 6 on the board no run back here down to a knee and this drive will start at the 25 the Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Well, they have the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll be upended at the 20. Yard line, just a three yard gain there. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Goff now looks to throw that throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he is going to have a lot as they're able to get the third down conversion. Goff now to throw. Open man right side to St. Brown. Then he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. On first down, gone. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43.
Now golf. And connecting here with DJ Shark. And he's got another first down. His attack is going to be made at the Patriots 22 yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A play fake for Swift. Now golf. His throw incomplete. But well, it looked like he marched to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. To throw once more on second and ten. Golf. It's Williams on the catch. And he's going to be taken down right at the ten yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Now golf. are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the third. Pats at the line, ready to go. A lot of time for this unit's game plan on the sideline to that drop. They watched the other side just score, but remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see. They had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time, so they have to have been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and even though they haven't been on the field. And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And he'll be upended at 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. For the Lions, an extra DB game now here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And a penalty flag comes in. It's that one winds up being complete. But the high tech is going to move the ball well downfield. another first down well they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight so far it's working I like what we're seeing from the offensive line they seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and re-establishing the line of scrimmage moving that defensive front backwards but also like with the that's to Aguilar touchdown Patriots a five yard touchdown catch and the Patriots have moved out in front well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it to the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate a leap, and he's got it. He got it. And he's going down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Go off a handoff here to Swift. Two yards 
that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. Badgley able to punch this one. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles drives one and two, both ended in the end zone. Yeah, right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. As he got this down inside the 40 to the 39. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Take this one down to the 36. Not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Here's a snake with Jones. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Two yards is the pickup, and it gives the Pats a first down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. If you're a coach, you absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go a number of directions here on second. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20 yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. They say the real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing. Timing. You gotta be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. He's gonna be sacked back at the 23 yard line. Sack, but now it'll bring up third down. Working out for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Here's Jones to throw on third down. Complete. It's Henry. And they're going to mark him down short. Maybe five yard, if that. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. 
And that leads to a fourth down. And that big gain may just change the thought process here on fourth down. I think in the red zone, they might now consider going for it on fourth down. Going with her tight end on four. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Off play action, Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And they are able to add on to their advantage. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that makes it a 21-10 game. So that one along a one-play drive. And it's finished off by a pass touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort. Right? To them, that's not how the drive was supposed to end. put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. I like went to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. Swift going to try up the middle. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Second and eight. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And some nifty running here. This will be And down to 47. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Throwing on second down. Off. Here, complete to the tight end. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. The Lions on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Coming up on second and seven. Here's gone. Right side to Williams. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 14. That'll put him over on the yards receiving now here in this first half of action. From the red zone now, gone. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Oh, 
Back to the running game with Swift. And he is met. Tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Badgley's kick is good, and that'll make this eight-point game. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The pass at the line, ready to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdown on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates analogy Brandon because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage and they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone so to themselves all they're saying is if we don't make a mistake there's no way they can stop us they'll break the huddle come up on second eight at the 27 yard line I throw but the catch is made and he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. Looking to throw, Jones. That's complete once again, it's Kosicki. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. And we hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Four yards remain for second down. Now a handoff, Stevenson. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory even if they don't get it, though. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing Jones. Going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39 yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here at second and 15. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Shooting in there and dropping it for the sack. Jones now. Off play action. Open man here. The tight end, Henry. Put this down inside the 30. Now whistles in a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Folks, kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. 
This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two, the Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football, taking it about the one. at the line ready to go and they've got the lead cd what do you think the message was at halftime i don't think the message was too drastic i think at the half or that they didn't change things too much i do think the offensive line could play a little bit better i think they'll try and help them out more they'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available. Gained decent yardage. On third and short to give it the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. A gain of 16 yards. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll go underneath here to Stevenson. And he's right the field after a gain of two, maybe three. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. But let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And a pretty good run. He's going to get this down close to the first. enough for a Patriot first down. I sure love to offer some advice to the defensive coordinator, but his guys are just getting run over by an offense that's executing a couple of those missions. From the 34 now, here's first down. Back to throw. Joe. down at about the 16. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Tackle there by Alex Antelone. Here's second and nine, just a yard Looking to throw, Jones. And it's caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. Stevenson is going backwards as he'll be going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. Off the play fake. Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown Patriots. Connor Henry. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their 
And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yeah, that's multiple series now that have ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Now Folk for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. On first and 10, gone. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. The sack recorded, it's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Another try after the first down sack. Golf. They get 11 back on that one and lead third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack of first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And they get it down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Pick off to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. Off play action. Here's Goff. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring him second down. There's Gaw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down just shot of 40. He certainly did a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now a first down throw. Gone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. The golf throw going into the hands of Williams. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is able to connect. 18 yards there, down two to 18, and a first down. You know, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too there, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. To the air again. Golf. No bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they need an almost perfect second half and down three scores a lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan that reminds me of my plan in college to get an a on the papers i turned in but that didn't work out too well either <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us <laughs> i mean that's just pure and simple and that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game they're gonna need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one
Jones in the pass now with first and 10 at the 31 yard line. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. Found there as he's up to about the 37. 84 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. If you're in the offensive puddle, you're smiling after that play because you certainly got them guessing that. Second and short, did they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? Stevenson gets it again on second down. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. He's turning in a pretty impressive performance running the football and a big reason why they have this nice lead. And in days gone by, we would clip this out and put it up on the refrigerator, wouldn't we? Clip out the box score. Nowadays, not too many newspapers out there. Maybe screenshot it online. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Four yards to pick up, first down. Not a fun game at all for anyone who's playing defense on the field at this point. They just gave up another first down on another good run. I wonder if the defense coordinator just says, let's sell out, play against the run, and not worry about getting beat by the pass. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to tackles and his feet never stop moving this is caught by Evans and he doesn't quite make it taking it within an eyelash dropped at the one a good pick up there a 22 just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays they have moved right down the field and just like that they're gonna be set up with a first and goal Jet sweep. This is Evans with it. And he's over the line. Into the end zone for a Patriot score. Mike Evans punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now you name it they're able to do it if you're the play caller whatever you want to select is there you want to run it you want to throw it pick a play any play they're rocking and rolling right now full connects on the extra point and they open the lead up now to 25. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, right now, they're in a bit of a tough spot here, CD. You trail them by double digits. Remember the last time out, they fumbled. They're going to have to play some clean football here on this possession. And all the talk on their sideline has been about taking care of the football, making sure that they're handling the ball correctly, so you know they'll be squeezing the rock pretty tight here they just have to be careful not to go so hard in doing that that they actually cause themselves other problems take care of the ball but still try and play free and natural they'll come up now second and four from the 31 now it's gone throw over the middle he finds Williams and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled First 
Falls down. It's gone. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. To throw again on second down. Golf. Buying time to slam. And he can't find a receiver. And he's brought down. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Third and long. It's golf. And this one into the hands of DJ Shark. And to the 46, he goes in no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. Yeah, boy, this is again really making things tough on him as he stops it for no Second and ten. Back to throw. Gone. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. To throw is gone. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. The third. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The Patriot defense has a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And this will be a game of five as he gets it to the 30. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chain now. It'll go as a gain of four. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Golf. Wright's got it. And he'll go out of bounds. Right at the 45. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions at a first down. Off throwing again. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Second and ten. Golf again. And that'll be caught by Sam. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense... They don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. And the tackle can be made at the 38. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. He's fired. 
third deep. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. From the gun on third down, gone. He's got this complete to Williams. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 28. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Now Goff on first down. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 128 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first. Ten. Again, it's Stevenson. And the defense closes quick. There. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. On second and nine, Jones. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. The result only four yards there. And it brings up third and five now. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. It's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 42. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving Brown spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? Look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I want him out. They tend to leave him in. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout and actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And now a jet sweep. This is Evans with it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. And now a jet sweep. This is Evans with it. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. He's not going to get there. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Now they tried to catch him by surprise there on third down, but this defense, they were all over the jet sweep. And it's oftentimes all about what you're doing on the backside of the defense, whether it's the defensive end or the outside backer. Who's setting the edge? And if they don't get blown up the line of scrimmage, they can really wreck a play. And in this case, they were able to make the tackle for a loss as a result. They begin the drive with Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely Three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Third and two, golf. The open man is Shark, it's complete. And he is gonna have the line first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They picked up five yards last time, now they double it and get 10 here. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Gone. That's once again complete to Chark. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Throwing again is gone. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. From the third floor, they'll come to the line on second and ten. Goff now looks to throw. He'll drop this down to Williams, and he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot at the 44. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Goff now looking to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Here comes the Lions punter now. That's going to kick it away for the second time. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the pass will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night.